Hey guys and welcome back to a new episode on this channel. We are back in Webflow and today's video is all about practicing and learning Webflow again, but this video will be somehow different. I'm not going to explain all these steps that I'm doing, all these uh, features that I'm using, but I will show you my like learning process, my um, like practicing process while I'm just doing and designing for the web. So you will see a speed up process of about like 300 or 400 percent. That means like a 30 minute recording will be about 10 minutes long or something like that. So you just get the pure process without me talking to you guys. But I will play some nice music and you can just see the process of me uh, designing in Webflow. I think that this will make it easier for me to uh, just focus on the creation of this website and you can just follow along uh, my steps and so on by uh, looking at what I'm doing in this time lapse of my design workflow. So I'm really curious what you guys think about that approach. Uh, let me know in the comment section and we are going to just dive in to our Webflow project. I'm still in my own portfolio and we will uh, create the last few pages like the contact and the services and of course the work page uh, of my portfolio. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, we will start out by creating the services page and I think I will make another video for the work and another uh, video for the contact page. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Let me know your feedback and your questions, for example, about Webflow uh, in the comment section. And now have a nice time watching my design process.
So I now finished the services tab of my new portfolio. We have a list of services uh, that I'm offering. They are categorized into different uh, skills and we have the contact possibility below every service. Um, I think you could do a lot better deleting this contact uh, below every category and just having a big contact possibility at the bottom. But I tried out to copy these uh, divs. I created a div surrounding every category and I tried to just copy and paste the, these elements to uh, get a website, a portfolio up as quick as possible. Um, and I also created this footer layout with some social links and of course we have the nav bar at the top and I still couldn't figure out how I can make my logo right here that I have visible in the preview window. So right now if I click preview, I don't have my logo up there and I don't really know why. So if you have a tip for me, just let me know what problem there is that I have to fix to show you guys my logo in the preview version. The next video will be about the work tab. So I'm going to make a portfolio displaying all my stuff in small and big screens and screenshots. So stay tuned for that and look and look out for it in the upcoming days. Thanks guys for your time and we see us in the next one. Bye. The truth, the money never lie. No, I'm the one, yeah. I'm the one early morning in the dawn. No, you